All right, right now, another live look at the roads for you. Traffic is running smoothly right now, but in only an hour, officers statewide will be out on those roads looking for anyone drinking and driving. These pictures show the consequences right here. Aurora police cars severely damaged after pulling one suspected drunk driver over, another plowed into them. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon got out on those roads in News Tracker 7 with a blunt warning from police. Lindsay? As you hit the roads this holiday weekend, think about this. State Patrol tells me on average a person will drive drunk 80 times before they're pulled over once for drinking and driving. That's why many agencies will have up to three dozen officers out looking for drunk drivers. It's as much of a tradition as the turkey. How much did you have? DUI checkpoints and increased patrols. But do you know how many officers are out on the roads this holiday weekend? Statewide, we have 83 uh, enforcement agencies out there that are stepping up. These agencies are adding patrols this weekend, specifically looking for drunk driving. At the top is State Patrol in Adams County, who added 38 troopers. Next is Pueblo Police, with 24 additional officers. Thanksgiving holiday is, is a real uh, tough holiday. These pictures are a reminder of that. Around 2 this morning, Aurora Police were doing a sobriety test on a driver near Hampton and Parker, when another car came barreling down the road, hitting three cars. In daylight, you can see the police car that took the brunt of the damage. That officer reacted quickly, yelling for his colleagues to get out of the way. The first thing that came to my mind when I heard that is stops that I had performed myself. Trooper Hees had several near misses. On average, the people he pulls over have a blood alcohol level of 0 .20, a frightening fact when they're the driver who comes flying by you. It is definitely a reminder for us to be on our toes. And back live, CDOT says they're not only concerned about drunk driving, they're concerned about drugged driving. And police tell me they do expect to pull more people over for driving while high due to the legalization of marijuana. Reporting live in Denver, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.